Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I am Kat, the Nurse Flipper. This is going to be another What Sold video, but I am going to go back and do like I did in the beginning. I am going to take you guys with me to pull everything, and I'm going to throw the GoPro on, though, so I don't have to hold my phone while I'm pulling. And I did want to let you guys know I did put my whole main store on sale 50% off just because I'm trying to move some inventory out. So if you've seen anything I've sourced that you might want or if you want to just browse through, I do have everything 50% off. Um, I did already grab these couple of sweaters here. Um, they were in my shipping room. They're anybody. There are two of them, um, a green one and then also a red one. These were off of my QVC palette. So I haven't sold very many of these. They're pretty slow. So hopefully... Um, once it starts to get cooler, we'll move more. So those two sold for $40.48. And then we're going to go outside and we're going to pull everything out. I also wanted to say a special thank you to Saving for College 24. Um, I did post because I have a new Chromebook coming to help me uh, cross post with List Perfectly to Mercari, Poshmark, Grailed, and maybe Depop. Um, so that should be here tomorrow. And I wanted a backpack to be able to bring it to work. And she very graciously offered to send me one for free. So thank you very much. I do appreciate it. So let's go see what's up. So inside i found roy's turtle thank you roy for driving me crazy um, it, this is the only thing so it was marked t1 so i think my mom intended to make like a t area and she never did and there he is so this is cool this is from um sydney australia i did leave the original price tag it's vintage it was 295 but um, it's never been used, so pretty cool. So, Roy, thank you so much. I appreciate you supporting the channel and purchasing from me. And hopefully you enjoyed my going crazy trying to find that turtle. But I found it. So, so a little word of advice to you YouTube content creators. I did not check the setting on my GoPro, so I recorded about 20 minutes of footage of me pulling all the orders, including probably 10 minutes or more of me trying to find Roy's turtle, and I had it in time warp mode, so I will roll that footage after, but I want to go ahead and tell you guys about the sales that I had. I will pop them up there where Sam is and yeah I'll show you the footage um I was talking the whole time I was showing you my inventory and it all is in like super fast speed um so I'll probably try and do a video this style next time on Monday so you can kind of go through it at regular speed with me and I'll go over the sales for today which was about $250 as well as the last two days on eBay. So first up, I sold a New Wave Precision Pro uh, cooking system. It's really cool. This actually went to St. Thomas to the Virgin Islands, uh, which I think is super cool. So I paid $2.50 for this at the church yard sale about two weeks ago. It sold for $37.49 plus shipping. The buyer is the Sun Ham home it is a bath mat and this is something you might find at goodwill and garage sales that aren't used i did get it in a macy's palette i paid a couple bucks for it it sold for twenty dollars and 25 cents plus shipping the buyers 31 dollars and 15 cents all in and then up next is this turtle that really gave me the go around um if you watch in the footage and see all the little turtle stuff flying by that was me trying to find roy's turtle so Roy over at Arcade Treasure Center, who actually has a great channel. Um, check him out if you have not. I will um, pop a picture up here as well as try to put a link in my description of his channel. He saw my Instagram post that I put my store on sale and he purchases Turtle, which is really cool. Um, it is from Sydney, Australia, from the aquarium. And I got it in a big lot, so just a couple dollars in, and Roy paid $6.75 plus shipping. He's $13.26 all in. So Roy and Kim, thank you again for your purchase. And up next is a vintage glass bead necklace. This was not marked, 
and it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Buyer is $10 all in, which means I was wrong. <laughs> it was free shipping and it was on the 50% off sale. Up next, you will see a lot of footage of this as well. I did not really store these the right way. I didn't think about it. So I bought a ton of these books and I sold them in lots of 11 and I have big packs of a bunch of them and I just threw them all in a tote. And had I thought about it, I probably would have put them into the lots and then put them into the tote because I have to pull every book out to find one of each one. So there are 11, I have about $2 in. They sold for $24.29 plus shipping. Buyer is $30.27 all in. So if you guys find like crafting books, especially cross stitch patterns, a good friend of mine, Mandy, has been selling a lot of those that she's been finding at Goodwill and some of them for pretty good money. So keep an eye out for those while you're outsourcing. Up next, this buyer bought two shirts. One is an Inlet Harbor shirt. They paid $15 for each of these, so they were $30 all in. The other one is a Breakers. They're both local Florida restaurants, so I knew they would be a little bit harder to sell, so I did not price them high. I am about $4 into each, so $8. Shipping was $7.50. They did go in a padded flat rate. So I'll still make about $12 to $13 on the purchase. Up next are some Anybody loungewear. I think I showed those at the beginning. Buyer was $40.48. And to those, those were off my QVC palette. And I think I have about $10 in. So those are about $20 in profit after fees and shipping. And then I have these Danco felt. These are the little new old stock items. I will not get them again. Um, Two sold for $6.46 total plus shipping. Buyers $10.79 all in. Up next, and I went a little low on this scrub top because I've had it for a few months. Some of the scrub tops sell super fast and some don't. So this is a solid white one. Um, it sold for $10.50 plus shipping. They're $16 all in. So when I went to nursing school for graduation, we wear all white. So that's what I was thinking when I bought this. I thought it would sell faster and for a little bit more. It didn't. I was $4 in. So I still made about a $5 profit on that. Some of your brands to look out for for scrubs. Koi is a great brand. Grey's Anatomy and any of like the characters like, you know, Mickey, Minnie, um, Goofy, anything like that cartoon or movie wise for Disney will sell fast. Up next are some Soma Vanishing Panties. We are getting into yesterday's sales, but I was at work, so I wasn't able to show you guys. I paid $5 for these. They sold for $36.44 free shipping, which is only going to be about $3, so still over a $25 profit on those. And then we sold this Banana Split. This is an awesome tropical vintage shirt. It's not one of the higher end brands. And that one sold for $20 free shipping. We are $8 in, shipping was five. So only about a $6 profit. But you've got to remember with the shirts that I got, I got them in lots and some of them are selling for 50 to $100. So I'm gonna have these ones that are only gonna make a couple dollars. Some might just break even, but I would rather get something for them or my money back than nothing. So I did list them all. And then we sold another lot of 11 of the pattern uh, craft books. Those sold for $21.53, again, only a couple dollars in. And I'm not sure why, but two sold in two days and they've been listed for over six months, so kind of strange. Um, and then I sold this Pier 1 Imports teapot with butterflies on it, beautiful piece. I bought it because I really liked it. And I paid $5 for it at my local flea market. It sold for $23.99 plus shipping. So about a $15 profit on that. Check your teapots. I typically don't pick up ones made in China. Um, I might if they had something really spectacular on them. But I want to see a maker so that I can search specific comps for that teapot when I buy them. And then I sold this vintage lavender purple cow. She was really tiny. Um, she was in my latest auction lot pickup. She sold for $10. I probably have less than a dollar into her. So about an $8 profit because the buyer did pay for shipping. And then I sold these three. These are Kimberly pattern. Keep an eye out. And it seems like these amber ones sell the best and they sell high. So there were only four listed and 43 sold when I looked these up. So I listed these immediately. I've been kind of sorting through these boxes and I knew they would sell fast. 
buyer didn't even make an offer. So I have probably $5 into these and they sold for $71.99 plus shipping overnight. So Kimberly, which I'm going to pop the picture up there. It's like a diamond shape. And on the bottom, it does have anchor hawking, um, the little anchor symbol. And you would think the more colorful ones sell better, but apparently these amber ones are the highest selling of all the colors. So keep an eye out for those. Up next is an awesome piece of uranium glass I showed you guys last time. This one, I paid less than $5. It sold for $41.99 plus shipping. Buyer was $60 all in on this piece. The amazing thing about this is the last one that sold and it sold recently sold for $12. And I knew that this piece looked amazing. I took some great pictures and I wasn't gonna take $12. So I priced high and they actually bought it without even making an offer. So just know that the quality of your pictures and your perceived value of your item does have an impact on how much it sells for. If you think it's not worth a lot, it's probably not gonna sell for a lot. But if you feel that it has value, I think that comes across in your pictures and in your listing and can help things sell for more. Up next, this was only four inches tall, a little awesome pottery. Um, salt glaze this was row pottery and my friend actually just found one very similar to this for me that i hopefully will be getting from her soon so this one i paid less than five dollars and it sold for forty dollars plus shipping the buyer's 56 dollars in again four inch canister guys keep an eye out the salt glaze pottery with the cobalt blue paint does amazing it sells for very good money and it doesn't take very long to sell either and then I also sold this Patron tequila shot glass, bought a lot of shot glasses. This one sold for $5.65 plus shipping, buyers $11 in. So shot glasses, I don't mind making five bucks on. Um, I think they're cool. I know people collect them. So if I can get a big lot of them for cheap, which is what I did here, then I will buy them. And then we have another one of the shirts from the estate sale. This is a drink like a fish shirt. It sold for $18 free shipping. So I have $4 and still about an $8 profit. Not too bad there. This is a Mary Naylor plate with flip flops. If you see bright colored plates, definitely watch for those because they sell. People use them, I think typically more as decor than serving pieces. And this one I paid, I think 50 cents for it at the churchyard sale. It sold for $14.21 plus shipping. So not too bad. And I think that is it. So that was the last two days of sales as well as today. I am going to roll that beautiful bean footage as the commercial says, show you guys the time lapse of me pulling everything, even though that's not what I intended to do. And I will see you guys next time. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Thank you.